All right, welcome back. We are on to the interior walls now. So to create the interior walls, what I usually do is I just offset the exterior walls, whatever distance I need to kind of help me um, kind of start to construct those lines instead of having to draw them all the way over and measure it over and draw it. So um, the offset tool is gonna be your friend when it comes to creating your interior walls. So the first one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw the interior wall that kind of goes kind of through the middle of this. So um, that, 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 if you look on the, the dimension page, um, it's 18 feet, four inches is gonna be what I need to offset this bottom, this bottom line. So I'm gonna go, go up to my offset tool Offset, it's going to say, what is your offset distance? So I'm going to say it's 18 feet dash or four inches. Notice how I type that in, right? 18 feet on the dash and the four inches. So I'm press enter. And then now I'm going to select this bottom line because this is the one I want to offset. And I want to offset it straight up. I'm going to... Hit escape, and then I'm gonna offset that wall. This one is gonna be six inches because it's gonna be, in my head, it's gonna be a structural wall. So um, I'm gonna offset this one. It's gonna be a little bit different than the, the other interior walls, but I'm gonna offset this six inches down. So I'll pick this line, and offset it straight down. Then, so I'm gonna start laying out my bathroom walls and my, there's a walk-in closet there. There's a linen, there's a bedroom over here. So I can, um, I'm gonna start my bedroom walls. So that's 12 feet, 10 inches. So I'm gonna offset 12 feet dash 10 inches. Enter, I'm gonna offset this outside line here over to the left and I press the escape key then I'm going to offset that four inches that's going to be normally that's going to be my thickness of these interior walls most of them anyway it's four inches so four I'm going to offset this one to the right and you'll notice they kind of cross each other so what I can do here is I don't like the way the new trim tool is set up in the in the the new version of AutoCAD, but uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna use the trim tool, and then notice it says down here it says so yeah I can select cutting edges so I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the cutting edges, so I want to cut this this wall here at this line, so that's my cutting edge. I'm gonna press Enter, and then I want to get rid of kind of this side of each one of those lines. Press enter again. Um, so there's that. Okay, then to create this walk-in closet here, I'm gonna offset this with the offset tool, obviously. Four feet, eight inches, which is gonna be from this, the rightmost vertical line here over to the left. Press escape. I'm gonna offset that again four inches, so four. I'm gonna copy, or I'm gonna offset this one to the right. So there's that. And then I'm gonna, down here in this little, my, I'm gonna call it my little laundry space here where the, you see the washer and dryer is, that W slash D. That's a, it's a stacked washer and dryer, so they're on top of each other. Um, so that's going to be, have an offset of three feet, eight inches. So I'm going to offset three feet, eight inches. Oh, I need eight inches there. Press enter. So this line offset it up, hit the escape. Um, Let's see, I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. I'm gonna offset that line that I just made four inches. Nope, four inches. 
straight up. This one, straight up. Hit the escape. So now I want to get, I want to trim out this bottom portion of this wall. So I'm going to go to trim. I'm going to select down here where it says cutting edges. So my cutting edge is going to be this line. Press enter. And then what do I want to cut? I want to cut this part and that part off. Um, same thing over here. I'm going to do that. So I'm going to get the trim. My cutting edge is going to be the inside here, this wall. So I'm going to click this wall, press enter. I want to get rid of this side and this side. Press enter there. So there's that kind of a laundry slash hallway space. Here's our linen closet here. Um, let's see, I didn't dimension to that linen closet, but I can figure that out. So our so this is the area where our bathtub is gonna be. So the standard the standard length of most bathtubs is gonna be five feet. So I'm gonna offset five feet this line here up. Press escape. Um and then this little wall, this little wall between the, the tub and the shower. I'm going to make that a plumbing wall. So that's going to be have a thickness of six inches. So I'm going to offset this six inches. And that's just so they can get all the pipes and all that good stuff inside that wall. So I'm going to offset this one here up six inches. Um, doo -doo -doo. Okay, um, so I got that. Okay, I'm going to trim out. So this wall, uh, this wall here, divider wall, it doesn't go all the way across. So I'm going to make that about, if my, I'm thinking if my bathtub is 30 inches wide, I can make this like 34 just for starters. So I'm going to offset this 34 inches from the inside here out. And then I'm going to use the trim and I'm going to make my cutting edge here. Press enter. I'm going to get rid of this and this. Um, you could also use a trim tool, but to trim out, you would have to like trim out a bunch of things. So I'm going to use the fillet on this one. I'm just gonna, wait, I'm going to use the fillet here. Fillet this and this. Press enter. I'm going to fill it this and this. Here I can, and then I, had, I had escape. Anytime you want to get out of a command, the easiest thing that I do is just hit the escape key on your keyboard, and that'll cancel out of whatever command you're in. And then here I'm just going to go to trim, and I'm going to trim out these that I don't need there. So this wall here that goes across, that's my, my bathroom wall, my linen closet. Um, again, I'm gonna use a trim tool to kind of trim these areas of where these walls intersect with each other. Here, um, here, there's one down here, and up here, here, here. Okay, there we go. All right, so then um, the closet here, I got that. I don't really have the dimensions for those on the paper, but um, this linen closet here, I'm going to go up 24 inches. So I'm going to offset this 24 inches from here up, and then I'm going to offset that 4 inches for the thickness of that wall. Select objects. Wait, let me do that again. Offset four inches here up. Um, there's like a little mechanical chase here also. So I need to figure out where that's going to go. Let me, before I do that, let me trim out, use the trim tool to trim these. 
All right, so in order for me to do some backwards calculations here to figure out what that is, um, I'm going to, I know that my, my, my toilet, I'm going to offset this 30 inches for my toilet. I need to offset that about, offset this about five, is it five feet? Probably not that much. Five feet here down. Yeah, that's too much. Um, let me offset it. Offset four feet. Yeah, that looks about right. Let me erase this. And then that's going to be 21, 22, 23, maybe 24. I'm going to offset this 24 inches from here over. So that's kind of the area where my mechanical chase is going to be. I'm just going to offset this. I know there's a lot of offsetting. I'm going to offset this four inches here inside, here inside. I'm going to use the fillet to square these corners off. That one, press enter. We'll fill up these two. Press enter. I don't need this line anymore. I'm just gonna go select it. Hit press the lead on the keyboard to get rid of it. Um, and then I'm gonna trim out these kind of areas here. Um, so let me trim out this. I missed this part over here. That, that, that. So that's my bedroom, my walk in closet, my linen closet. There's a mechanical chase area, which probably needs to be, I'll probably need to fix that out in a little bit later once I get all this other stuff in. Um, there's the bathroom, the laundry hallway, the kitchen area here. Yeah, so there, that's our completed interior walls. So yeah, make sure you save where you're at. Save it. You can never save your work too much. So just save it. And then I will see you next lesson.